I'm board certified dermatologist, Dr. Dina Strawn and brand ambassador for Fido. And today we're gonna to talk about scalp health. So there's a lot of confusion out there about scalp health and scalp types. So I'm going to try to, you know, clarify some of that. So from, you know, first of all, the scalp is an extension of your skin. It's actually a specialized area of your skin and it's really important to keep it healthy and that affects your hair growth and it also affects other things. And from the, you know, dermatology perspective in terms of scalp types, they're really just two types from our perspective, healthy, normal scalp and diseased. And probably the most common thing that we see is dandruff or seborrheic dermatitis where people have inflamed, sometimes red, itchy scalps, flakes in the hair. Sometimes you just see flakes, sometimes you see redness and scale on the scalp. And uh, another common thing people get on their scalps is psoriasis, and these conditions are slightly different. But, you know, the main issue with scalp health is inflammation, and that's important all over the skin. And your skin is your largest organ, and when your skin becomes inflamed, you're, you're creating a lot of inflammation in your body. And I'm sure you've all heard that, you know, inflammation, even from your teeth, can affect your heart, can cause heart disease, can cause dementia, all sorts of things. We're really learning a lot more about inflammation. And that's why it's very important to take very good care of your scalp and be aware of you know, the health of your scalp, not just for your beauty, but for your health overall. So let's talk a bit about scalp care and hair care, or scalp care versus hair care, because you know even though they are connected, scalps scalp care can be a little bit different. You have to have different considerations than you do with hair care. So people tend to talk about their scalps being oily or dry, and usually the dry scalp is those conditions that I mentioned, separate dermatitis, psoriasis, and some people have oilier scalps than others, and you know it's not necessarily an unhealthy thing. And you might feel that way if your hair is straighter because you your oil is sliding down, making your hair oily, and you, you feel it more. People with curlier hair tend to complain that their hair is drier, and they often complain a lot of dry, about dry scalp because they don't shampoo as much and um, they really have seborrheic dermatitis as a result of that. And then of course, if your hair, your scalp, excuse me, and hair are very oily, you may have hyperthyroidism. So that's something you might wanna get checked out if you have some other symptoms. So, you know, one of the issues is how frequent should, frequently should you wash your hair? Um, your hair should be washed at least once a week, uh, particularly if your hair is curly, kinky, coily, because your hair tends to be drier. But you have to be careful not to wash it too infrequently, otherwise you'll develop seborrheic dermatitis, which is you know, caused by normal yeast on your scalp that like the oil and they like the buildup of all those skin cells. So if you don't shampoo at least once a week, then you're gonna more likely end up getting dry scalp, which is really caused by oil. <laughs> and um, if you have straighter hair, which tends to be oilier, you can get away with shampooing more frequently. But you never wanna shampoo too much because you can develop dry hair. And also if your hair is color treated or you've done anything to change the texture, sometimes you may be experiencing dry hair. And so you have to balance the, what you perceive as the oiliness of the scalp and the oiliness or dryness of the hair. So of course, if you are having a specific scalp problem, I recommend that you see a board certified dermatologist with expertise in hair and scalp disorders. You know, products are great and they can be very helpful, but sometimes people have medical conditions that are more serious that require other types of treatment. So that's important why it's, in, it, it's important to get that expertise. So thank you very much for watching and follow us for more on hair and scalp at Fido USA.